Yo, Chucky. What's the deal? What's the deal? Chucky. It's Chucky Baby Gamo, right? Yo, Chucky Baby Gamo. What, well, why'd you change it? It was Chucky. It was it was Bless Gamo when we, when we first met a few years ago. For sure. Uh, shit, man. Everybody was calling me Chucky and shit, and then it was like, I I had that clothing. Remember, I got the clothing line. The, uh, right. And then on top of that, it was like, uh... When I on the Instagram, Corey White he had DM me like with the face of the Chucky, you know what I'm saying, with my face on it, and it was just like, snap like him and Foe and Smoke Camp Shooter. I think they was just like, bro, that's you, you know what I'm saying? Snap like, you can't let nobody take that, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to run with it. That's you all the way. It's just your character, how you is as a person. And then like he like man, everybody keeps saying Chucky anyway. Might as well run with Chucky, baby. You feel me? So change my name. That's when I. That's when I was like, all right, it's official, cause I already had the Chucky, and I was coming out with the clothes. I'm like, I'm like, man. So at that point, I was like, yeah, it gotta be that, you know. So made it happen. So it's been like that ever since. They know it's locked in. That's hard. How'd you How'd you get your start in music? So how'd I start? Yeah. Well, how long you been rapping? So nah, six years. Six years. Yup. So it wasn't something you always wanted to do. It's something you picked up later in life. Uh, yeah, basketball was the first thing I wanted to do. You know, I did uh, I did the basketball, football, and boxing. But uh, I, my passion was really in the basketball. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't that tall. So, so that you, ain't you that. was on the team. Yeah, I I, who, I I was a point guard. You know what I'm saying? And <coughs> I played shooting guard. I was cold up. I'm cold with basketball still. You know what I'm saying? It's just. That ain't where my flavor at now. It's just rap. You know what I'm saying? My focus on rapping. Uh, I I fell in love with rapping though. This was a, I was going through a lot of pain. So I, I think rapping is the best thing for me for real. What was the motivation to get you into music? Cause uh, you was doing a lot of sports, so it sounded like you could have kind of went anywhere with it. Uh, the motivation, like I was always getting in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So like, I always. Was bumping my head, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a person that probably, I say, always learned the hard way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I, I never made the same mistakes twice, though. Like, I always learned from if I bump my head this way, I'm like, I ain't going that route no more. But it was like, for me, it was like therapy for me. It slowed me down, you know what I'm saying? Like, music is something you got to think about. You got to move a certain type of way. You got to... You know, you you interact with people and you learn things from different people. You know, I think music one of the best things to ever be in for real because you learn how to really be yourself and a person. You find yourself in music. Mm. A lot of people don't understand that part. You know what I'm saying? Because you were drowning out here, not learning yourself. You just gotta know what you own. And because when I first started rapping, I was trying to make music for like what they like. Can't do that because it's not your sound. Like I make music. What do, you mean? what do you mean for like what they like? What the what? The, like what's what's in? Like all oh, they mm-hmm. like. Let's just say. All right, for example, let's just say Juan J. His, his flow, for example, cold. You know what I'm saying? It's it's catchy. Everybody like it, but that wouldn't work for me. I don't have the voice for that, so I can never try to make music like that. You know, Fact. because that that's not, one. It's not me. That's not my personality. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, when you try to do that, you not only you're not being yourself, you will not ever create your own sound because mm. you're too focused on somebody else's. You got to focus on what fits you and what you like. People going to like it. Is it. Sometimes it might not be in right now, but your flow might catch on a little bit later, and they, yours might become the hottest. You feel me? But a lot of people, they don't have that faith in themselves. You got to have that faith in yourself first. That's real shit. That's real shit. That's like, and it's good advice for people who, who, because you know, like when you start rapping, you are lost because you don't know how should you exactly. sound. Exactly. You don't know if you sound you good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> so like you, you saying just be yourself. Be yourself. That's the main man. Like when you, <laughs> when you be yourself, you gonna love your music. That's when you gonna start feeling your music. You gonna love yourself more. And then when somebody say they like it. It's going to feel good because it's coming from you. And then you got people that's going to want to rap like you. You know what I'm saying? 
You want to be a legend or you want to be a copycat? You know what I'm saying? You can't be a legend and a copycat. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to, like, pick up something from somebody and learn it from them, but it's not okay to run off with somebody's whole flow, man. That's like, whoa. Like, well, how, do you feel about, how do you feel about the artist, um, like, designer? Or um, when Rich Homie Quan came out, he had, like, Young Thug comparisons. Like, what do, how do you feel about those artists that sound like other artists and they get on from that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if something's working for you, run with it. You know what I'm saying? If it work for you, I, it ain't enough for me. I'm not biased against it. You know what I'm saying? It's just I feel like be authentic with yourself. If you if you know you don't really sound like that or you ain't got the voice for that or you, you know what I'm saying, or that's really not your personality, you ain't got no business rapping like that. Because that's the people, when I listen to an artist, I'm looking at, is you this type of person? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you rapping, you really kind of telling us what type of person you is for real. How you think. You know what I'm saying? What's going through your head? Right. Some of these thoughts be real. Like, you know what I'm saying? These thoughts be actually real. So when you, if you rapping somebody else, the whole image or they personality, now you fake to me because I don't understand you as a person. You misled me into your music. Yeah. This ain't really you. It ain't you. It ain't authentic. It is. So I wouldn't do that. But, but if it worked for you. feel like, I mean, I feel like most most artists um, portray a character or they build a character around their music. Um, is that the same thing? Uh, I think every artist portray a character. But this is the thing. You can do that because, like, Everybody has to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's an entertainment thing. But this is where you go wrong. At. You can portray a character, and you can be that character. You know what I'm saying? But you got people out here that's portraying something they ain't on at all. Mm. That's when it becomes fake. It's like, you ain't, what? You rapping about all this? You ain't did nothing? Yeah. Your whole background is cat? Yeah. That's when it becomes like, whoa. I got to, I got, we got to run left with you now. You know what I'm saying? But people, if, man, people know who like that and who not. You know but what I'm saying? There's artists, I feel like there's artists that make it past the radar and they get on. And it's like they, people know they cap, but they just like their music. They just that good. Yeah, I mean, and that's the way now. You know, that's the way now. Like, you ain't got to, it used to be, you got to actually be doing this shit. I mean, but it's, <laughs> if you're looking at it from like a like a business perspective, it's it's the, like it's a smart thing to do yeah. to sign the artist that ain't doing that, that shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> rapping about it, but not doing it. But yeah. you know, because the artist is doing it, you, you know he's get, get, he gonna get shot, get locked up. You know, God forbid, all these things. But if you get like the the guy that's perpetrating the fraud, you know he's safe. All right. Yeah. For example. I'm going to use me for example because I ain't going to use nobody else for me. I, I really didn't been out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really didn't got active, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like your homies and artists know this, you know what I'm saying? They they know. So it's like when I rap, I can do it. I can say what I want to say. No, I'm not currently active right now. You feel me? It's, that's the difference. Like, I'm trying to build a career. I'm trying to, I got, I'm going somewhere right now. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to build a career right now. So, is I'm going to be active on every situation right now? No. Nah. You let your kids listen to your music? Yeah, for sure. So they, you, they love me. They support me. Crazy. So, you have to kind of be conscious of the image you portray because they're looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. But one, one thing, though, like interviews like this, it also let them know, you know, it's because you did certain things don't mean you doing it now. You know, people grow. You know what I'm saying? If I was still doing the same things that I was doing to get in trouble or still while I'd probably be dead or in jail. You know what I'm saying? Right. So nobody, so when you listen to a rapper and they saying, whoa, 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 we, we walking out, we did it, we did But they talking about either what they saw or what they was around their environment or they talking about what they did back then. Or in in the past that you know what I'm saying, that's what they talking about. Like, ain't nobody 
walking, unless you stupid, you're going to go walk somebody down and they're going to make a song the next day. I mean, it's it's, like, it's artists doing that. It's no, artists yeah. getting booked and they're using yeah, that lyrics. you getting booked. As, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, to rap about, if that's all you rapping about in your music, though, this what that's what I'm right. really preferring to. If you were just rapping just strictly that, strictly that, and the fans looking like, oh, he doing all this right now, bro. He not doing that, bro. That man going home to his kids, to his family, eating good dinners and cook up, you know yeah. what I'm saying, wearing his jewelry. Bro, come on now. You know what I'm saying? You just got to make it make sense to you. So it's up to you as a fan if you want to go copy that man and get yourself booked for the rest of your life. Doing stupid stuff. <laughs> they do go, I think. I think a lot of people think, like, because, like you said, you know what I'm saying, people look at people that, that's doing it and they don't want to really listen to the people that's faking it. Yeah. So up-and-coming artists, what they do is they might go get into some BS, get into some bullshit, just so they could be like, well, I'm living it too, you feel me? And now I can rap about it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And really, I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel like. If you get if you you ain't gotta go just jump into the streets and just go get active to get stripes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I was misled with that. You know what I'm saying? Like what it really is, it's like when you get into it with people, you really get into it with them off of things that you bumped heads with somebody on, and that's what made that occur. And it wasn't like you trying to want you nobody going to go get active just to just get a stripe. I mean, come on, bro. You got to go get, you getting active with somebody because of the fact they did something to you or one of your peoples, man. That's why you go get active, not to get no stripes. What type of goofy yeah. shit is that? That's, <laughs> that's the image that they portray. You, feel you know what I'm saying? Like, well, See, for the people that, like, you know, that was in it, that's trying to get out, they know the real, but the people that's not in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the 100,000 YB fans, Young Boy fans, yeah. they glorify a lot of this shit. They do. You know what I'm saying? But that's the the industry, the music industry. They push that shit out there for them to glorify. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's why the the people that actually them been in some shit got to explain it. You know what I'm saying? That's what people like me here for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can explain it. Because, like, yeah, I done, done it and I can explain it. And I'm still living. To, you know what I'm saying? So it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you... When you got rappers that ain't never been through it, I, I'm pretty sure YB been through it. You feel me? You could just tell by his image how he carries so, You know what I'm saying? But I don't know that man, but I'm pretty sure he been through it. Like, I mean, when you listen to his music, you hear real pain. And, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he been through something. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody going that deep into their life. That boy talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's just him, you know? I respect it, you know? How do you... How do you stay focused on the music with everything that's going on? Uh, man, that's it, it, it's hard. I'm just not. I'm still learning that process. I'm learning it more and more every day. You just gotta want to be focused. Like I just want females, everything, man. It's like your life problems, your bills, all of that. It, it's you a person at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? This rapping is one thing. It's an entertainment, it's fun, you know, you make money, you know what I'm saying, off of it, but at the end of the day, you a person. You still got to maintain everything in your life, you know what I'm saying? Still got to make sure your kids eat, still got to make sure they have food, everything, clothes on their back for school. So it's like when people come around you with bad energy, you got to move it. You That's the main thing of staying focused. Nine to five, or if you hustle or if you do both. Anything... I support anything with money unless you're not making it. If you don't make no money, you ain't got no... This is my thing. I'm going to say this because I know a lot of people probably want to hear this that is working or not. Just because you making money and somebody else making it this way don't make you better than them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people got to take them steps. And a lot of people that straight come off not working no type of job or anything like that. Man, you had people behind you that put you in that position. You damn near got it handed to you. So to talk down on somebody, bro, and you saying you coming from poverty ain't real. You got to be real with yourself, man. Your mama worked a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think it's, why do you think it's look like frowned upon? It's frowned upon because... 
it's a certain money that it allows you to accomplish mm. every year. We already know your income, what you make a year. That's why it's looking. Oh, yeah, it's like so, you can count their pockets. Yeah, you count in their pockets. Yeah. But the thing is, is it's not how much money you get in a year. It's what you doing with your money every year. Each year, what you doing with your money. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got people with a nine to five that live better than people that live in the streets that get money, fast money. Because that's my thing. If you, the nine to five person, they got benefits from it. Hey, look, this is how I'm making my money. So I can get this house. I can get this credit. If you in the streets and that's all you got and you ain't got no people behind you or nothing that can just push things through for you, you're going through all these different obstacles. So it's still putting you behind. That's why most people that's in the streets, besides the people that made it big, like, you know what I'm saying, like Meech and all them, if you ain't on that level, you know what I'm saying, you stuck in the streets selling dope, most of them people don't even be having no cribs, man. They be living at their girl house, everything in their girl name, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't got a car in their name, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing, bro. Like, you talking about a nigga with a nine to five, or, or, or a woman with a nine to five, but, bro, you don't even got a crib to lay your head at? Come on, bro, that ain't gangster. You know what I'm saying? How we going to respect that? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's on um, it, how it weighs out. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you got you in the streets, you making your money, you know what I'm saying? I support that. You know what I'm saying? And you got your own shit going on. You trying to start your business up. You got your crib going. You taking care of your kids, man. Man, we supporting that. I'm rocking with that 100%. But if you one of them niggas that's just, I ain't working on 95, nigga. I get fresh every day, nigga. But I live in my mama house ass, nigga, bro. You you ain't too far from Jody, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care how nobody feel. That's just what's real, bro. You got to look at everything from a third eye. That means from your angle, the audience angle, in somebody else's angle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't just look at one thing. You don't know what people going through in their life, man. Everybody can't make it the same way. That's just that. Real shit. So let's 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 speak on the music for a minute. Um you got any projects coming or any um Yeah dropping? For sure, man. Uh Welcome to the Dark Side. That's the next thing, you know what I'm saying? The next tape, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be nothing but uh steppers on the tape, you know what I'm saying? And uh it's just me introducing my sound at its fullest, you know what I'm saying? Like that way they can learn a lot more about me, how I feel about it. I'm putting everything on this one, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give them something real Real catchy, you know, the music going to be a little bit more, you know, intense, and it's going to be a little bit more problems I've been through in it. Also, it's going to have, like, a different little wave to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little bit of more unique sounds to it, you know what I'm saying? What about features? You got any big features on there? Uh, I don't want to get into the features yet, you know what I'm saying? Not yet. You know what I'm saying? They ain't close enough. But yeah, definitely, I got a lot of big features right now, though, that's put up right now. But I, for this tape, I really want to use the best can you, steppers. Can you tell us about any of them, or are they, they just confidential right now? I can, I, I don't even want to go into them yet. Not, not, not yet. It's too early. You know, as soon as it get a little bit close and we get into the interview, I'm going to start speaking on them. You know what I'm saying? Who coming? You know what I'm saying? Once I make my decision... But I don't want to tell no news and not put out certain songs. If I only, I don't know if I'm gonna put this feature on that tape, and I just let y'all know that in the interview. I don't want to do that. What's, what's your process like um, choosing beats for the tape? Do you work with certain producers, or do you? Yeah, like uh, I'm going to Hills. That's an Ant B brother. Uh, I'm going to Ant Beats. Uh, I'm going to uh, D Neil, uh, Mia JC. I got Killer Dane. Uh, Tax free, the, the amazing, but the main ones I really be on for real. That's like really got my my main sound down pack. It's probably Hills and Beats and uh, D Nil and Mia JC. Mm. Cause I got a darker sound. How many how many tracks? 
How many tracks do I got put up? No, how many tracks do you have on a um, on the tape? Or is this uh, uh, producers it's, it's, that you work with, or are these producers that you're gonna have on this tape? No, I, I already work with them, but I'm still working with them. Okay. Them, them fam for real. They. So it's like you yeah, usually yeah. work with them on all the projects. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never not gonna work with them. Facts. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. I don't want to forget nobody. Brian, uh, he got. I'm actually gonna do it one of his beats. Brian, cool too, man. He uh got some hard beats. I don't like leaving nobody out, man. I already said amazing, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, so. Yeah, them, them, them my babies, killer dang all them, you know what I'm saying? Them the main people I work with, you know what I'm saying, when I'm about to do a beat. Um, besides music, are you, like, branching out to anything else? You got anything else going on? What's my clothing, uh, I'm trying to get that. I've been talking to uh, S-Boy more and more about it. But uh, I could have been there. The big bro always on my head about the clothing, you know. Plus, a lot of people, they like, I like it, you know what I'm saying? I, I got the chain. Chain of my logo, you know what I'm saying? Right. So this is really actually me, you know what I'm saying? I actually wore this outfit, so this is where it started. I got it tatted and everything. So it's like I got to start making the uh, music and the clothing line go up at the same yeah. time. And that's what was telling me that before I even start going to where I got as big as I am now, like where I start my following and everything start getting bigger. Right. He was like, man, you got to be bringing the clothes in at the same time. Why you ain't, you know? But I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait for this. But I should have never been doing that. I should have just stuck with the plan. What's your end game in the music? Do you want to you want a war? Do you want to retire one of the greats? Do you want to eventually branch out into something else, get into acting? Like, what's your what's your whole Oh, thing? yeah, man. I want to definitely act, man. I want to uh, do movies, man. I love what 50 doing right now, man. I love what 50 Cent doing, man. That that is is good, man. I wanna get on some Jay Z type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I wanna put people on. I wanna do some a little everything, cause I only got one life. You know, I got one life here. I don't, you know, I don't know if everybody I ain't nobody died and came back to talk to me. So I feel like I wanted to taste of everything before I go. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's something I don't like, I wanna at least try. It. Just just say I tried it. So, but acting, I definitely want to do. I definitely want to get into acting. What I did of, something in Atlanta. What type of role would you play um, if you had a choice? Man, I play all kind of roles, man. I, man, I, I joke around all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. I, I think I could play a lot of different roles of acting because I'm a character myself, man, with the homies. I be fooling for real. You know what I'm saying? That's just in me. And, like, I got a great personality, so acting would probably be easy for me. Like, it probably blow people's mind. Like, oh, yeah, dog got this on point. You know what I'm saying? Have you auditioned for any shy. of the, um, the Detroit movies or anything that's been going on? Man, no, but, you know, Jackpot, man, he talked to me, man. He always fuck with me and shit. He was telling me he was going to put me on one. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I ain't I ain't talk more about it, but when, he, when I be talking to him, he be like, yeah, bro, I'm get you together in a movie and stuff, whatever. Yeah, uh, I talked to Murder before about, about some, you know, with the movie stuff, but I ain't never really went through with anything besides in Atlanta. I did a little bit of something. Right, right. I feel you. That's what's up, man. You seem like you're doing your thing, man. I've been watching you. You know what I'm saying? You've been going crazy for a long time. We tapped in, like, man. It's been about five years, man. Yeah, for sure. And I see the growth, <laughs> man. You've been doing your thing, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I definitely see the growth. You definitely one of the uh uh definitely one of the cameramans I started with too. Yeah. That's uh you in the you trenches, know. man. We used to for show. So you uh you was gonna freestyle something for it today, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Scream! Put your mask on. Walk up on a nigga, walk him down, yeah, get like that And I'm with a bad, boozy bitch and she get like that I just went to Hutchins, told him freeze me, caught a ice attack They knew I grew up where it's cold and it's snowing that She gon' throw it back on Mac and knees, yeah, she get like that She gon' swing her hair and pop her nails, yeah, she get like that My doggy made a killing off them bodies, but he been like that Free my brother, they just gave him life, but he get like that Yeah, yeah this shit get dicey, I might push a pee and drop another body I'ma have to 
Before they tell somebody, walk up with my mask on, dropping bodies. This how COVID did. Holla, shake the Draco. They gon' show them how that Draco spin. Drop a nigga, tell them happy birthday. Find out ghosts live. Build a bridge, just to burn it down. That's how shit get rich. Bay says she thugging with them members, taking motion pictures. Niggas go bananas, think they apes until we mix the building. We get actors, shoot like cake free before the camera flash. My ops know, they get caught in pictures, we get on their ass. Put a bounty on your head, yeah, we collect the money tag. Send a blue check on the yard, and we caught him in his drip. I might be a op catcher if I come up double hits. Choke a bitch, spit up in her mouth, she wanna beat me up. Same bitch loud on me. Go ahead, kiss my nuts. Don't let these bitches geek your head up when this shit get rough. Freaky slut, squirt up on my chest, I made her pussy talk. We had never gossip on these hoes, only pussy talk. My bitch bad, and she stay in trouble, yeah, she just like core. I forgot, every bitch in my past, yeah, I'm just like door. I know we broke off, I still wanna fuck, you know I'm missing you. Let me hit it on the balcony, in your birthday suit. Why you let them treat you bad? Girl, he so mean to you. I'm the one that made her pack her bag, she said she leaving you. Doggy turn, Michael Jackson, when them shells hit his whip. I'm off drink off a of Percocet, yeah, I get out tip. Ain't no one on ones, you try me, yeah, go, uh. Great! <laughs>